And let us understand the effects in factorial design. So there are two types of effects in factorial design. One is called the mean effect and the second is called the interaction effect. Let's discuss mean effect first. So the mean effect is linked with the independent variable. So the main effect is how one independent variable influence the dependent variable and the number of main effect will be equal to the number of independent variable or the number of factors which means that if we have two independent variables then there would be two main effects if we have three independent variables it would be having three main effects let us understand this from this example so in this particular example we have practice as one independent variable and the amount of stress or the magnitude of stress is the second independent variable. So because we have two independent variables or two factors, therefore we will be having two main effects in this research. So there are two main effects. One effect would be due to the practice and the second effect would be due to the stress. So the difference between the column means define the main effect for one factor while the difference between the row means define the main effect for the second factor. Let us look at this figure to understand how we can calculate or find the main effect. So as we have one independent variable as the practice, so how will we find the effect due to the practice? So we have to look at these two values. So 6 is the mean for one level well 15 is the mean for the second level so if we subtract 15 from 6 so we find the effect due to the practice and similarly if we come to the rows so we have the stress as again one independent variable and these are the different values which are taken by the by the participants and this is the mean for the first row and this is the mean for the second row so if we again find the difference between these two means so this will be the main effect due to the stress. So keeping the stress constant, the words recalled increases by 9 due to changing practice from 1 to 5. And now if we look at the row, so the row is represented by stress. And we can see that the stress decreased from 16 to 5. And the difference between 16 and 5 is 11. So we can see that the mean of the dependent variable changes from 16 to 5 when the stress is changed from low to high. Let us do another example to understand the main effect. So if the research is about impact of social training on student social attitude. So because of the experimental design, we will involve two groups. So one would be called the experimental group and the second would be called the control group. So in the experimental group, we will give the social training and in the control group, there is no training. But because here we have only one independent variable, we introduce another variable which is the gender here. So if we want to find how the social training affects the gender and then change their social attitude, then this will be called a factorial design. Now let us represent this factorial design by a diagram. So while we have the topic, the impact of social training on gender social attitude. So because we have two independent variable here, one is the gender and the second is the type of training or the nature of training. Therefore, one main effect would be because of the gender and the second main effect would be because of the training. So how the gender performed on the DV or changed the dependent variable and how the training affected the dependent variable. Remember here that the dependent variable here is the change in the social attitude. So here is a detailed figure to understand this, to understand this design. So while we have the two groups here, the experimental group and the control group and the gender is represented by male and female. So the first level is experimental group and the male and suppose that the change in the attitude is 60 for male. In the control group, the score is 40. Similarly for female, the score on the social attitude is 80 while for the control group the score is 50. So in order to find the main effect for each variable let us first of all take the gender first. So for the gender what is the overall mean for the male? So we take these two which is 60 and 40 we add them and divide by 2 so we get the mean for the male. So this is 60 plus 40 which is 100 and 100 divided by 2 is 50. 
So therefore, the mean for the male is 50. The same process is applied for female as well. So while female has a score of 80 and 50, so we get the mean as 65. The same process is applied for finding the mean in the experimental group and the mean in the control group. So we add 60 and 80 and then we divide by 2 so we get 70. In the same here the mean is 45. So these are called the marginal means. So how to find the mean effect? So we subtract 65 and 50 from each other to see how much is the difference in the two gender. How the male and female performed on the social training. So now we are not looking at the experimental or the control group. We are only looking at the score taken by the two genders. So the main effect for the gender would be 65 minus 50 which comes 15. Therefore we can say that there is a main effect in the gender which is 15. And how we can describe this? So we can see that the female has scored more than the male. Therefore the females have performed better. Now if we look at the impact of the training which will be identified through the experimental and control group. So the mean in the experimental group is 70 while the mean in the control group is 45 which means that the experimental group has performed better than the control group. So how much is the effect? So we subtract 70 minus 45 and we get 25. So the main effect of treatment is 25 which means that the experimental group performed better than the control group. But remember that further tests are required to find if this difference in the means are significant. Therefore, we use again statistical tests to find if the difference in the mean is really significant or not. If they are significant, then we have ample evidence to accept or reject our hypothesis. Now, let us look at another factorial design. So, the topic is effect of type of instruction on student performance in different schools. So let's suppose that we choose three levels for the type of instruction. So we have three levels for the instruction and let's suppose we take two different types of schools. So we have two levels for the school. So by looking at these three levels and two levels, so the factorial design would be three by two factorial design. And let's suppose that the type of instruction is the lecture method, the group learning method and the inquiry method. And the type of schools are public schools or private schools. And while these numbers or values represents the mean performance taken by each group. So to find the main effect, we find the mean for the public schools, which is 45. And the mean for the private school is 51.6. So by subtracting these two, we get 6.6. .6. So because it is not zero, Therefore, there is a effect or the main effect due to the type of schools. But whether this difference which is 6.6 .6, is larger or smaller, is it significant or not? For this, we have to go towards statistical tests. Now, let us find the main effect due to the type of instruction which is our second factor. So, we have the mean for the lecture which is 35 and the mean for the group learning is 55 and the inquiry mean is also 55. So because these values are different, so we have a main effect. 